Anyway, I need to use a restroom. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, is this uh, is this the what what is this? I, I, I don't know why people are. This is Marlene it. from Gorditos. Oh, okay. Hi, Marlene. Hi. Just a second. <laughs> and I get there, and um, I, ch- I I see as you would at a marathon, tons of porta potties. Right. They thought ahead. Lots of porta potties. Yeah. Everywhere you look, porta potties. Yeah. And twenty thousand people are about to descend, and I'm early, so I think I'm early. Now's the time. I'm gonna get a porta potty. Mm-hmm. That haven't even hasn't even had a right anything d- anything in it yet. Crack the it's, seal on that thing. Yeah, crack the seal yeah. on the porta potty. Well, guess what? At six o'clock, every single one of those porta potties had a zip tie on it. Yeah. Every one. What? And so I go, and I'm like, it's closed. It's locked. Everywhere I went, they were all locked. Are those the after race ones or something? Well, I I went to the medical tent, and I said, can I can I? Use? And he was like, no, they're not open. And it's like thousands of people arriving for the marathon. And I said, what are you saving them for? Run for it. <laughs> You're well, going to have to run for it. He was saving them for the marathoners. I mean, if they dropped I've them off. I've got a bib on. i got a number. <laughs> I know. Anyway. If they had dropped them off the night before, they're all of a sudden they're homeless shelters. Well, I thought about that, but I also thought about Boston. And I thought oh. about security, and I figured they were all probably. And You're so, right. like Peggy, I felt very inconvenienced. But luckily, you had a bib, so everything was fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> when what? Ooh. No, I mean, I you know, I <laughs> yeah. don't always laugh at these things. By the way, but uh, okay, uh, we just had a whole bunch of people descend on us about a story that we did last week, and uh, this is a trend on the internet. All kinds of interesting things people take pictures of, and we have a, a local restaurant. That became incredibly viral and popular with their baby-sized, I'm looking at one of these right now, a baby-sized burrito. And the way you get a free baby-sized burrito at Gordito's is you bring your baby in. you got to prove it. And you take a picture of the baby next to the burrito. It is one of the more brilliant and tasty uh, food promotional ideas that has gone viral that I have ever seen in my life. And I... uh, I, I do want to congratulate you. Marlene Hall of Gordito's is here now. Hi, Marlene. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Oh, it's so <laughs> wonderful to have you. Um, this uh, this baby burrito thing, is it bigger than you ever expected? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It, we just stumbled on it. it just you didn't happened. sit down and say, how can we get pictures all over the world mm. and how can we create an internet sensation without giving, you know laughing gas to our kids after the dentist you know you didn't say that not at all not even cl- not even not close. even close no. how did you come up with the baby burrito actually it was a customer a regular customer who used to come in all the time they moved to idaho they had a baby and they came back with their six-day-old baby Aww. took that photo the original photo and gave me a copy and i said hey would you mind if i use that and put it on the counter. And so the old question of chicken or egg, which came first, the baby or the burrito? The burrito <laughs> came first. Right. Yes. yes. Right. Well, was Definitely. It, yeah. Was it called a baby-sized burrito then? No. No, okay. but it is now. Yeah. 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 It is now. <laughs> what was it called before? Burrito grande. Burrito grande. Yes. How And the burrito weighs in at four pounds. Uh, actually, it's five pounds. Okay, five pounds. Yes. How many ounces? <laughs> yeah, I have to do something like five I pounds, two like ounces. I like its father. Yeah. Get a boy or girl. <laughs> is, the, uh, is the burrito something that people would traditionally split, or do you get big truck drivers coming in and eat a whole <gasps> grande burrito? Uh, it's, we, get a, we get both. Okay. We get people that eat the whole thing. We've actually um, had one guy that ate two you shouldn't Nuh-uh. eat two he, of those. His no. neck was, wow. I mean, he Nuh-uh. was he was a, a big fireman, and uh, and I think it was a challenge. Wow. We're taking but... pictures of this thing right now. <laughs> Did you bring a baby? N- no baby. Just oh. You guys buy babies? <laughs> oh, good. We tried to find We need a to bring a newborn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, after this one person brought their baby in and took the picture, did a light bulb go off in your head? No. Actually, it was many years later that um, that we actually did it. Someone came in and took a picture and said, "Oh, you know what it was? I take it back. It was um, it was a, a newspaper article or something." And the guy brought the the writer brought his baby and took a picture. So someone else took a picture. Yeah, and totally then, random. Didn't know totally about the previous random. baby. And so then it, somebody else did and mailed it to me. And the, you, 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 did you have one hanging on the wall that just, gave people the idea? Yeah, just the one. Ah. It's on the front counter. All right. Yeah. Now, though, you're wallpapered with baby pictures, yes. right? 
And it's the it's become the cool thing. It has been. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Bring a baby, get a free burrito, right? Yeah. If you take the picture. Yeah. Can I bring a newborn puppy and get him smaller burrito? <laughs> Chalupa, maybe? <laughs> yeah. So, some... Sorry. No, yeah, no should... animals. <laughs> no animals. So, yeah, you know, it's a restaurant. Yeah. You don't want the animals coming in. It'd be, yeah, it'd be a whole different set of uh, health food uh, d- issues. So, uh, okay. Now, if you bring a baby, a newborn, how do you know it's newborn? It's a mom. I mean, we're <laughs> not checking. Well, yeah. it's, it's, a mom. It has, it's just uh, like a month or under. You okay. Know. Yeah. If you bring a very small baby and you're not going to, I mean, it's not going to, the burrito isn't going to have to get bigger, right? You don't make it no. for the specific baby. <laughs> no, not, it's not custom made. <laughs> no, not Put custom. a baby up on the scale. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'd bring Joe in and Magic say, weight. big birth. <laughs> big birth. <laughs> <laughs> Just see the mom. Yeah. Make me a Volkswagen sized burrito. <laughs> uh, so the people bring a baby in, mm-hmm. they take the picture, they leave you with the picture, which is a great marketing angle, and then. You give them a free burrito. Yes, the, the burrito. Value. The burrito that we um, took the photo with is mm. there. So if they okay. want it to have steak or they want it to have chicken, whatever they want in it is it's theirs. Uh, let me let me just tell you, Marlene. This may be one of the most brilliant restaurant marketing ideas of all time. Oh, thank you. you. Know, well, you know the hardest thing to get is a new customer to come in the first time, and then if they have an incredible experience, then the hardest thing to get is them to stop coming back every week. Because they love your place. Yeah. So it's the best. How, do you, is, are you packed? We are. You know, we, we've been there for, I want to say it's going on 18 years now. And we still have that nice dinner line and lunch line. And, you know, we're so right, lucky. Now let me ask you a question. Do you want to get rich? <laughs> you know, that wasn't, I mean, that's all. That's not your intention. Now nice. no, that's fine. Money's yeah. not important at all. But now let's make some. But now that it's on the table, do you want to get rich? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's nice. I mean, yeah. I think you should franchise this. I think you should do the whole baby thing, make it worldwide. Just don't put them in hospital lobbies. You'll go broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <You'll> totally. Go <laughs> broke. Oh, that's the other. Yeah. How much does this cost you in, ter- really? in terms of promotion compared to advertising? It's got to be cheap. Yeah. I mean, you get in this for free right now. Yeah, I know. Pretty soon it's you're gonna fantastic. have to turn customers away. <laughs> Texter says, never, never turn customers away. Mm-hmm. My oh. personal record is three burrito grandes, wet fajita style. My friends all joke that I can eat three babies. One person can eat three of those. That yeah. seems impossible. Wow. Get that baby in my belly. Really? <laughs> no way. Do you call it, and it's called the baby burrito. Now. Yep. And the funniest one is a lot of people say, hmm, is that baby wet? Because it's a wet burrito in the photo. So yeah, yeah. I'd, like, oh, I'd want to stop know. making physical comparisons yeah. at that point. I just want to eat the, the yeah. delicious burrito. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's beautiful. Um, and r- little babies next to them wrapped in swaddling clothes. Are those twins in this photo? That one, I think it is, yeah. Look at that. They got two burritos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mommy Hope they had both. more kids. Not. <laughs> uh, Marlene uh, Hall of Gorditos. You, are these your uh, kids? Actually, yeah. So my husband, Tomas, and, um, nice. and if you notice, he's wearing the tie-dye. When we moved to Seattle, um, I used to listen to your radio because now I live in Hawaii. But um, we'd listen to your station, and it just made me feel this throwback. And uh, oh, wow. we, so we have tie dye shirts. Oh, cool! And I didn't Shannon, see you through the drums, by the way. I didn't mean to imply that you were her kid. <laughs> um, is this your daughter here? Yep, that's okay. Lucy. And does she work in the restaurant too? She, well, now we live in Hawaii, and we actually have a place there called Lucy's Taqueria. And that's Wait a minute. Lucy. I Gordito's heard. is in Seattle, but you live in Hawaii. Yep. How do you pull that uh-huh. off? See that boy there? That's yeah. Shannon. Shannon runs Gorditos. He's, that's how. That's ah. how we got the name. My husband, Tomas, used to tell Shannon, you better watch out. You're going to be a little Gordito. <laughs> and uh, so oh, that's, that's, and that's it. Are you going to open a Gordito's in Hawaii? No, just Lucy's. Lucy's, Lucy's. Taqueria, and it, we've been Which open island? for a year and a half. We're in Hilo, on, a, on the big no island. No kidding, in Hilo. Yeah. I go there all the time. Oh, you'll have to come and visit us. I love us. Hilo. Yeah. We have it the... rains constantly. Why would you leave Seattle and go to the rainiest part of Hawaii? Mm. Just because you love rain? Exactly. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's warmer. It's, it's a wet warmer rain. <laughs> yeah, it's a wet burrito. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> you don't have to have a baby to get one of these, right? You can buy one, too? Yes. How yeah. much is that burrito? Uh, $9. Wow. That's well, and, it costs, and to have a baby, they say, costs $100,000 yeah, right. in the first 18 years. I think I'll just buy one. Just buy a freaking burrito. Yeah. That's a deal. You've got to be going broke selling that for nine bucks. That's no. a lot of food. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Did you thank make you. that for us to share? Well, Tomas made it for you. Uh, Tomas, Justice. thank you very much. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, we, we should take a taste here before we go into the commercial. I okay. love a taste. All, All right. we need now is eight oh. more people to help finish it off. Do we? Uh, are you going to slice? Do you have some little plates you could slice a little oh. piece of that? 
All right, we'll do it during the break. Uh, and, and what a wonderful idea. I, I well, think you could you. franchise the whole thing, though. Oh, I think that families everywhere. What a family restaurant concept. You guys are up on 85th? We are, 85th and Greenwood. 85th right. and Greenwood. How many yeah. babies so far? Do you have a running total? Like McDonald's used to have on a sign uh, how many cheeseburgers sold. How you many, could have 200. 200-ish? 200, 200 babies. i got to think of the right slogan. <laughs> Conceived isn't the right thing no. to say. Oh, <laughs> burped. <laughs> 200 babies burped yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Uh, you know, running baby total. And then you move it, you move the numbers. And then you find some big franchiser, like some of the people who did Applebee's or something. Take this all over the country. You got anybody coming in for yearly shots? Watch my baby grow. I mean, you come every year they come back for one, another yeah. picture. Got one customer doing that? You got one? I do have the original. Really? I act, there's um, a picture on Google Images that he's about seven, I think, at that time, holding yeah. one of these in his lap. It's he's, great. Yeah. Uh, 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 now, does somebody say there's a Gordito's in, in a, Everett? No. There is. <laughs> yeah. There's, it's a different place, though. Nope, that's us. That's you. So, oh. yeah. Wow. Yep. We right. have Everett and Greenwood. They both okay. Get, both get a free burrito with a baby? Both, yep. They right. both have the, the baby burrito, but they don't have babies posted in Everett. Just in Greenwood. So if someone brings a baby in in Everett, do, do they get the same treatment? They? No, they just leave the baby there. Walk they out. do. <laughs> <laughs> no baby, no baby. Well, burrito. because we have a, you know, we <laughs> reached the, there in our signal, we should let them know. Exactly. They do. Yep. Yeah, Shannon they do the same thing. Yes. All right. Uh, Gorditos will be featured on our website, bobrivers.com. Marlene, it's wonderful to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you for having us. You guys, uh... You guys rock. Hey, Thanks. Anytime. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, getting in here with free food is uh, call yeah. Joe. It's not that hard. But, <laughs> but you are very special. Thank you.